So now when we're trying to figure out the budgeting process for the, the project during the design and planning process, that budget has direct impact on all of these different topics. But also each of these different topics has direct impact on the budget, if you will. So uh, we can start to think about and break down the, the building, the project, in a number of different ways. We could break it down uh, by the wing, each wing of the building, or each floor of the building, or the public versus the private space, or something like that. We could break it down uh, from uh, the standpoint of different ways of uh, testing out the budget system. We could break it down uh, in terms of uh, the different uh, ways of approaching with different contractors. Uh, we could break it down any number of different ways, but when we do that, we're going to be thinking about all of these different issues and then trying to figure out what the budget impact of those different issues are given the fact that we've started a process. So once we start a process like an assembly's uh, estimate, once we have that going, now we're able to start thinking about, all right, given that, given our, our set of assumptions, is there something that we would want to do differently in this location? Do we want to try to save money there? Do we want to try to uh, spend more money there? Because maybe that's something that seems important given the program. Uh, are there aesthetic issues that are going to impact our design thinking in that particular way that we're breaking it down? Are there other issues? Are there structural issues? Are there uh, fire safety issues? Is there uh, buildability and tolerance issues? What are the things that are going to drive our decisions? So we're going to start with a basic understanding of what we think the budget is, but then we're going to be analyzing it and adjusting it to the specific situation that we want to express. So it doesn't really help us any if we do a full-on assemblies type uh, uh, budget estimate, we get all the way to the end of it, but then it doesn't really actually match, like we're just kind of not really accurate to our building. That just means it's the wrong number. So we need to adjust it at that point to fit into our understanding of all of these different issues. Is it something that we want to make sure there's very little maintenance on? Well, okay, if we want to make sure there's very little maintenance, we probably have to spend more money. We probably have more durable materials or a better HVAC system that doesn't need as much maintenance. So if, if we're saying maintenance is an issue, then we have to get that into our budget estimate. Otherwise, there's no place, uh, there's, the budget doesn't match uh, the actual design that we really want. So we start breaking down these things in whatever system we, we need to in order to find those moments that are going to alter our numbers, that are going to alter and add to uh, the overall budget estimate so that we're making sure that we're actually being accurate to our design. So when we're kind of evaluating all of our budget choices, we're thinking about all the choices and what the budget is for those, and then we're using that as a process to make sure that our choices are uh, not only the right choices, but choices that we have analyzed and compared with multiple possibilities. And now we know for sure because we feel really confident because of the analysis process. So we're going through, breaking it down, and then thinking of those different breakdown moments through all of these different types of topics and then understanding our number and adjusting our numbers from there. So the budget is a living thing. At some point, it stops. At some point, you say, okay, this is our design development budget. But it's probably been altering up and down throughout the design development process. It should be altering up and down because that's the whole point of developing the design is that you're testing out different possibilities, you're trying out different assemblies, you're trying to understand how those things are all going to relate to each other, you're trying to understand what the uh, aspect of uh, worrying about the acoustics might be uh, for uh, a ceiling system or for the wall systems. And so do we need to spend more money than we thought? Well, okay, we've got to add it in now. Right? So this is a living process, it shifts along, and by the time you get to the end of design development, you have an actual budget that you just say, okay, that's our budget. And then hopefully, if you've been doing this right, we've now adjusted it enough that it actually meets the reality so that by the time it goes into CD sets and then eventually gets bid out, the bids will come back matching those same numbers.